this is Poplar TV coming to you from the northern fringes of the Olympic Park with the disturbing news of the first casualty of the Games, a cyclist who was killed here by an official Olympic bus. As well as this being a predictable accident which London cycling campaign had been warning the officials at Low Cog, Transport for London and Waltham Forest Council about, we believe that this accident is only the tip of the iceberg of Olympic deaths. These deaths have not been reported on the official news channels, however, as we believe they wish to preserve the integrity of the Olympic brand. So what other deaths have there been as a result of the Games? There was the death of a construction worker last year, and furthermore, a 24-year-old was stabbed and killed in Westfield back in June. We at Poplar TV to be believe that Westfield is part of the same problem and should be part of the same account. But this is just scratching the tip of the surface. There is a great many more deaths beyond this. The estimated 20 billion full cost of the Games comes at a time of austerity when there have been serious cutbacks in the public spending on hospitals. These cutbacks have been estimated to be causing the result of 75 deaths. Furthermore, at a time of an obesity epidemic, the increased advertisements from Coca-Cola, Cadbury's and McDonald's are estimated to create further deaths as a result of diabetes and heart disease. These can be put at anywhere between 10 and 15 as a result of these games. This is not bearing in account, of course, the deaths elsewhere, such as those resulting from Dow Chemicals' failure to address Union Carbide's Bhopal accident, Rio Tinto, or BP. So, deaths in excess of 80 to 90 as a result of the Olympic Games. This is Poplar TV coming to you from the Olympic Park in East London.